The triangle pixelation effect is increasing popular. Photoshop makes it easy to pixelate with the mosaic filter, but it's boring and overused. That's an easy trick that lets you pixelate using triangles instead of square. In this video, you will learn how to create your own triangle pixelation effect and plus create a glowing triangle and custom text. We start by opening any photo that you would like to use into Adobe Photoshop. Photos that have varieties of colors are recommended to be used for this tutorial. We are going to use the night scenes of the New York City for this tutorial. First, unlock our background layer by double click the layer, then just hit OK. Now duplicate the layer 3 times by right click it and select duplicate layer or by pressing ctrl or command plus j on your keyboard to duplicate the layer for the first layer we convert the layer into smart object by right click and select convert to smart object so any filter we applied on the layer can be added soon so we add the gaussian blur filter go to filter blur and gaussian blur we set the radius to 3.0 pixels and hit OK. Then reduce the opacity to 8%. For the second layer, we will need to skew the image by using Free Transform Tool. So go to Edit and select Free Transform Tool or you can press Ctrl or Command Plus T to activate the Free Transform Tool. On the horizontal skew, we set 45 degrees, then hit enter or click the check mark on the top right corner. Next, we apply the mosaic filter, go to filter, pixelate, and select mosaic. Set the cell size to around 50 square and hit OK. Again, we will skew the image, so activate the free transform tool. On the horizontal skew, set to negative 45 degrees and hit enter or click on the check mark. Then reduce the opacity to 50%. The third layer, we will skew the image as well. So activate your free transform tool. On horizontal skew, set it to negative 45 degrees and hit enter or click on the check mark. Now we're going to apply the same filter as we applied on the second layer before. So go to filter, pixelate and select mosaic. The cell size will be the same, then just hit OK. Also apply the same filter used before, you can go to filter and select mosaic or press Ctrl or Command plus F on the keyboard. Now skew back the image, activate your free transform tool. On the horizontal skew, set it to 45 degrees and hit enter or click the check mark. We are done with the background, so we'll group all the layers together by select the top layer and by holding down your shift key, select the last layer, then press Ctrl Command plus G on the keyboard to group it together and you can rename the folder. Next, we will create a glowing triangle by using a shape tool. So go to your shape tool, right click and select custom shape tool. On the top, you select the triangle shape and if you does not have the shapes, just click on the gear icon, select all, hit OK and you will have all the shapes, then select the triangle. By holding on your shift key, drag your cursor to create a triangle. Now we add the layer style to make this triangle glowing. Double click the layer to open layer style window. On the advanced blending, we set the field opacity all the way down to 0%. Next, add the stroke style. Set the size to 25 pixels. Position to inside. Blend mode to overlay. And color to white. Next, add outer glow. Set the blend mode to overlay. Opacity is 
color is white, spread 20% and size to 38 pixels, then hit OK. I want to duplicate another tree triangle and place it inside the first triangle created. Just press Ctrl or Command plus here to duplicate the triangle. Use your free transform tool to resize and move the triangles. Then group all the triangle layers. After that, we will flip down the triangle. Activate your free transform tool. Right click and select flip vertical and hit enter or click the check mark to apply the transformation. Place the triangle on the top of the center of the document. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select all document area. By the move to selector, on the top click to align vertical centers and click on align horizontal centers. To deselect the document area, press Ctrl or Command plus D on your keyboard. Next, insert the text. So select your text tool and type any text as you please. You can edit your text character by using character tool. So go to window and select character to activate your character tool. Then you can play around with that to customize your characters. But before that, make sure all the text characters are selected. Then hit the check mark to confirm your edits. Next, create the line under the text by using capital I. Then use free transform tool. We transform the eye looks like the line. Right click and select rotate 90 degrees double clockwise. Right click again and select flip vertical then move it under your text. Now create another small text by using a basic font and customize it with the character tool. Now we apply the layer style to our text layer. Double click to open layer style window. We add a drop shadow. Set the blend mode to overlay, opacity to 100%, angle is 120 degrees, distance is 7, spread is 0, and set the size to 3 and hit OK. For the next layer style, we add drop shadow as well. Set the blend mode to overlay, opacity to 100%, Angle is 120, distance to 21 pixels, spread is 0%, send to 10 pixels, and hit OK. We are going to copy and paste the layer style to the next text layer. So right click and select copy layer style, then right click on the next text layer and select paste layer style. This is our final result. All the files used in this tutorial, the font and the image are provided. The triangle pixelation PSD file are provided as well and you can find the download link in the description below. We are done. Here are some more examples of triangle pixelation photo created with this tutorial technique. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel.